Hey, what's up, you guys? Stupid Console Gamer here again, and welcome back to another review. Except, this isn't just any plain old review. It's a retro review. So, I had to delay the reviews for Mercenary Kings and Strider. And for those who were waiting for those reviews, I am terribly sorry, but I hope that this review could make up for the time that was wasted by me. And then again, I will say this, I am so sorry. But anyways, let's get the show on the road with today's flashback review of Silent Hill 2. Silent Hill was a series that I somewhat disliked when I was young, and it was definitely at a time when I was really into Resident Evil. It wasn't until years later when I matured and was a little bit open-minded about certain video games, and somehow, I'm really glad I haven't played the Silent Hill games. I'm so glad that I was actually old enough to understand some of the meanings behind the game, such as some of the ethical and questionable moral themes that Silent Hill 2 would unexpectedly throw at me. Alright, so right off the bat, if any of you guys or gals were interested in playing Silent Hill 2 without playing the first one, go right ahead. Reasons being that Silent Hill 2 is its own complete separate story, which I do have to give it to the developers having to pull off such a ballsy move like that. Good job Team Silent! Without spoiling too much of the story, the game starts off with James Sunderland, a broken hearted man who was beckoned to arrive at the dark realm of Silent Hill, as he received a letter from his wife Mary, and the strangest part of it all, his wife has been dead for three years. Now, it's up to James to find out the mystery about his wife through the quiet, desolate New England town of Silent Hill. The graphics in Silent Hill 2 is a huge upgrade from the first game such as attention to detail towards the rusty, degraded-looking walls, all the way up to the filthy bathrooms. The full motion videos in the game are also one of the best, especially as it is a huge improvement over the last game. Even with the in-game cutscenes, the characters move very realistically. As with the voice acting, it is just astounding. The characters in the game have so much depth of emotion that it makes them feel so alive, and you actually feel what these characters are going through with their struggles. Besides the awkward, cheesy dialogues. Lost? With the graphics being so detailed, you would think that the PlayStation 2 wouldn't be able to run it, or it would just explode. And yes, the ominous fog returns, and yes, again. It's very, very thick. The gameplay yet is still the same, like battling enemies while trying to progress through the game, collecting and finding clues while also solving puzzles. And speaking of puzzles, it's probably one of the nicest parts about the game, is that it actually challenges you mentally. Some of the puzzles might not have you do as much, while others take some thinking power to get through. Another feature that Silent Hill 2 includes, thankfully, is the ability to actually choose your difficulty. You would most prefer for action and puzzle, thus actually giving you, the player, more flexibility if you want an easier or harder time with the game. Now the controls in Silent Hill 2 are basically the same as the first Silent Hill which utilizes tank controls. For a beginner, it might actually take some time to really get the feel of the controls. However, for a seasoned survival horror gamer, they'll be right at home with the controls. Although, the problem with tank controls is the camera. The camera can be somewhat of a cumbersome prick to the whole experience, as it does get in the way a lot. And of course, there's tremendous replay value with Silent Hill 2, as there are multiple endings, five endings to be exact, with that much replay value, you have the ability to acquire different items and weapons to obtain during your multiple playthroughs. However, the key element of what makes Silent Hill 2 a masterpiece is not the gameplay itself, but the sound design. Strange noises and even stranger sounds surround you as you progress through the game. Silent Hill 2 is definitely a prime example of conveying the use of sound to evoke fear into the players. Hell, it sure got to me. Alongside with the sound effects is the music. The music is just beautifully crafted. The melancholic tones and the foreboding arrangement of it really does set up the emotional tension to the story. I almost forgot to mention that it was also composed by Akira Yamaoka, the same person who composed the music for the original Silent Hill. I can really see why Silent Hill 2 has such a highly regarded praise as one of the best survival horror video games ever made. And honestly, it's a gaming experience I will never forget about. How I can sum up this whole game is just a surreal psychological horror themed tragic love story. Hell, the game did so good critically and commercially, they even re-released this game for the original Xbox with the extra additional content that wasn't seen in the original release. 
I'd give this game a surefire 9 out of 10, with its excellent graphics, very detailed music and sound effects, a great plot that's very memorable even till today, and awesome looking full motion videos that oddly still hold up in today's era of modern gaming. Make sure you guys give this video a like and subscribe to see more exciting content in the future. And also comment down below on what your favorite Silent Hill is and why. And also comment down below if you guys want to see more retro reviews like this. Now that this review is over, turn off your lights, grab the controller, and enjoy the horror masterpiece that Silent Hill 2 is. Stupid Console Gamer out.